What I want, peeps, what I want, it's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. And today, I ask Spirit a specific question. And you know what I ask Spirit? I ask Spirit, are your toxic people trying to come back? And the very first card that came out was the Ten of Swords. Was you betrayed in some situation and you were left for dead? Look at this. Did this toxic person do you this? Look at you drowning and there's a hand there with blood coming off of it. They left you for dead. Look at that. Can you believe that? The stabation, the trication, the struggulation is real. Look at them. They're not even batting an eyelid. They're just wiping off the blood and going about their business. Oh, what I want, peace, what I want. That's a serious betrayal. And what we got here now? Oh, we've got the five of cups. This was somebody who was in regret. Was it you that was in regret? Because this was upside down. But you're no longer in this regret. You've moved on, haven't you? You've moved on from this betrayal. It could have been anything. It could have been that they rejected you, that they stole your money, they were quite abusive. What was it? But you're no longer feeling this starvation, the trication, the juggulation, whatever that was. I'm getting it's one of those karmics because look, you saw there was the devil, the snake in the grass. Look at those eyes. This person was in their devil energy. Did they have... I don't know. Did they have a, like a drink problem, a drug problem? Were they a sex addict? Was it that they were just toxic anyway? The toxic card is here, so it's specifically for those toxic people in your life. And look at here now. Yep. This is a confirmation if you wanted to know. And this is not going to resonate with everybody. But look, the king of the, the Knight of Cups, not even the King, the Knight of Cups is here. Are they pretending to be this nice person and wanting to heal the situation? Here they come and them donkey like a damn fool. Oh, what's going on here? Did this person have problems in the past and they saw you as this loving, caring, nurturing person? And they thought they'd come back and give you a fresh damnation. Put their burdens at your door. Ah, oh, what a one piece, what a one. Then they want to come forward to you now. They got this bird of prey head. You know what they say about bird of prey? They don't take no prisoners. Ah, oh, what a one piece, what a one. What's up next? The seven of so I told you about that fresh damnation. Do you see the fox there? Every time I see foxes in these cars, it just tells me. It's trication, it's stabation, it's juggulation, it's all sorts of nonsense. Do you see that glee there? I was talking about that in one of my readings the other day about the glee card. Do you see? This person is full of glee. They want to come back. Do you know what? Do you really want this kind of energy? I asked Spirit specifically and, spe you know, Spirit is answering the question. There is the toxic person and there they are again. They really want to come back. They're giving you the impression that they're this loving, caring person. But do you know what they say about the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups is somebody who is like, although they could be loving and caring if they want to, it's like they lock up their heart and throw away the key. But you've got the lock to open it. You must have been the only person that got close enough to actually see some of the real person. But they're not going to show you all. And this is why the trication is here. Oh, what a one piece, what a one. Was there some kung fu fighting with this person? And look here now, is it their damn fool? Or are they a fool for you really and they just hid it from you? You know what I'm getting from all of this? I'm getting that one of the trickations is that they never actually told you what they felt about you. They never actually told you what the real deal was. They wanted to hide it. Maybe you didn't fit into their plans. Maybe you were too spiritual for this person. Maybe they were in their devil energy and they were bipolar. I shouldn't say that, but I keep getting the bipolar with all this. Look, this is the devil. This is the knight of cups. The devil, the knight of cups. They're like portraying somebody who they're not really because look here now. Do they want to take a leap of faith towards you? Is What is it? Do they feel like a damn fool now because you're no longer in regret and they can feel that energy that you don't, don't give a monkeys, especially about their flying monkeys. But look at this. Damn fool.
anyway, let's see what's going to go happen next. Oh, the Ace of You see what I mean? They're definitely wanting to come back. You know the Ace of Cups? The Ace of Cups is about somebody wanting to make a fresh emotional start. But do they have emotions anyway? Or are they just going to portray they have? Because look, there's a lot of cups here. Look, there's a cup here. They, they're going to pretend to be somebody they're not. Because really, they want to juggle you. Oh, what, 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 did, what decision have they come to? Oh, they want to juggle that. Is it the beauty of the beast? <laughs> what a god, beast, what a god. Were they behaving like this beast when you was with them and now they want to come with round two? Ding, ding. <laughs> the gloves are off. What's going on, people? They want to come back, but they really still want to juggle you. Oh, my goodness. Are you having any of this, though? Because look here now. We've got the seven of coins. The seven of coins is all about give and take. It's about being balanced in the situation. It's also about money. Did they say cha-ching? Did they see the cha-ching that were with you? Are you the money girl, the boss bitch, the boss man. And now they want to pretend to balance out with you. Because this is about starting a new emotional beginning. Do they want to balance out with you? But really... Do you see the mask on that person? There's two energies here. What's this mask all about? What? Tell me, people. Do they want to try? Oh, no, this is the seventh. This is even worse. They're waiting to come back. They want this love situation. They're biding their time. Oh, what I want, please, what I want. But no, the mask. <laughs> They're masking everything. They're masking their feelings, their time, what they're getting up to. Do you know what? I get the impression sometimes that this person's a, of the streets. They could even be of the streets and they hid all of that from you. You know those people that pretend to go out to work at one time and they come back always the same time and they pretend like they're the goody two shoes but in reality they could be a street person they could be peddling drugs on the street they're, they're the street boy what's going on and now they're just biding their time they're waiting for something to come in are they waiting waiting for the harvest to come in are they waiting for you to give in so they can give you this but really they want to give you this <laughs> let's go to the bottom of the deck people let's go to the bottom of the deck of what's really going on here oh my goodness the judgment card is here spirit made a judgment or oh, even you could have made a judgment but you see that light that light that's shining down this is the universe intervening in this situation oh what i want peace what i want they're dealing out judgment. Is this person in karma at the moment? Is that why they want to come back to you? Is this person going for a rough time? And they said, I know. Let's hit up that person was the most nurturing, was the one that I was in and out with. I was the one that I was abusive to either physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever way. But I want to come back to them because their light shine bright, but bonfire for them. <laughs> because look here now, there's a judgment being made. Oh my goodness, do they see you as a higher calling? This is the hierophant here. I've got two, do you know what's coming to mind here? This person is looking for higher wisdom, higher learning, but in fact, they might be just coming to put their burdens down on you. But what's also happening here is because we saw the two of Pentecale here. They could be married and wanted to juggle you and not giving up on this marriage and want to come back with their nonsense. Oh, what I want, peace, what I want, remember, they are the snake in the grass. Oh, what I want, people, what I want. But the wheel of fortune is here. What does that mean? That means either good karma or bad karma for somebody. These toxic people trying to come back, they're going through karma. They're stagnating. Look at this. What's going on? Oh, this is why they're in the karma. Because, do you know what I'm getting from this? You were somebody that that never held back from this person. That they could come in and out of your life and be this nonsense to you and disappear again and think you're going to forget about it. But spirit tapped you on the shoulder and showed you the cycles and showed you who this person really was. And now the wheel of fortune is here. And guess what you're doing? You're holding back from.
from this person with a vengeance. You said, nah, I'm not a bunga wunga this one. Not a bunga wunga this is going on. You held back your time, your money, your energy, every goddamn thing. This even says you cut communication. You even cut communication with this person. You cut them to the quick. What I want, Pete? What I want? Let's see what else is coming out. Because they knew who you was. This loving, caring person who has got high intuition. When you see water, it's high intuition. She's holding her cup of love back from somebody. She's holding on to it for dear life because she was nurturing and caring to this person. But you saw the red flag, red flag. <laughs> I want to go a piece, want to go. And now here comes with that dibby dibby cup. Do I need to say more people? You know what I feel about this card. Yes, they want to come forward with this immature action. They may even want to apologize for the deception because they know they decept you and they know you're holding back. But is it this you want or is it this you're going to get? Are you going to get this, maybe this immature action, this immature gift? Are you going to get this? I don't know. I'm going to go with one more card, people, because this is ridiculous. Oh! <laughs> they really want to put you in this juggulation again. Look, they want to put you in this juggulation. They're not giving up on somebody. And do you notice, I'm going to just, this is, this is not specific. This is specific now. But do you see it's free women? Now, take it, flip it, switch it, whatever way you want to put it. But were they in a same-sex relationship and they're, they're bisexual and they didn't tell you? That one is one to ponder on. I'm leaving it there. Let's see what's underneath there. Like that. Oh, do they want to heal this situation? Oh, what I want, please, what I want. But really, they should be telling you some clarity, some truth. You decide if you want this toxic person back. <laughs> <laughs> 